this video, we will have a look at the available settings and at how simple it is to carry out pure tone audiometry, high frequency and multi-frequency audiometry using the piano. The piano has two separate independent channels. When using default settings, channel 1 is used for the pure tone audiometry stimuli, whereas channel 2 is the secondary channel used for masking. It is possible to invert the use of the two channels through the settings window. The red and blue buttons correspond to the selection of the ear being tested. Press both at the same time to run a bilateral test. Transducer selection is done by pressing the output key. Press it to switch between air conduction, bone conduction and free field. The input buttons are used to select the input signal. Various signals can be used according to the type of test. Interrupters are available for both channels 1 and 2. Simply press the interrupters to send the stimulus through the respective channel. By pressing the normally on button on the channel where the green indicator is lit, the relative output will be activated permanently. The level of intensity can be modified by rotating the knob. The two frequency buttons are used, of course, to switch between frequencies. Store can be pressed to record the threshold level at each frequency. The general buttons include a decibel step setting ranging from 1 to 5 decibels, a pulsed setting and two keys to link the masking channel to the stimuli. Tracking is for maintaining the intensity gap, while lock is for synchronising activation. The top part of the Piano Audiometer's keyboard has six dedicated function buttons, the names of which are self-explanatory. If the audiometer is equipped with a thermal printer, the print button initiates the printout of the current test. To conduct a pure tone audiometry test, the operator must first bring up the relative window from the main menu. There are two possible viewing modes, separate audiograms or a single audiogram. To switch between the viewing modes, press the display button on the screen. Remember that for safety reasons, if the intention is to present a stimulus signal stronger than 100 decibels HL, the operator must first press the higher decibel button, which is active only when the intensity of the stimulus reaches 100 decibels HL. The high frequency audiometry, available only in Piano Plus and Plus VRA models, allows you to determine the patient's hearing threshold at a range of frequencies between 8 kHz and 20 kHz in air conduction using the supplied Sennheiser HDA 300 headphones. 8 kHz and 16 kHz for free field. Determining the thresholds in this range allows diagnosis of any hearing damage caused by noise exposure or by therapies with ototoxic drugs. The high frequency audiometry test is accessible through the relative window on the main menu. By pushing the PTA function button, it is possible to directly move from HF to standard audiometry and vice versa, easily allowing an exam across the full range of frequencies. With multi-frequency audiometry, available only in Piano Plus and Plus VRA models, it is possible to determine the patient's hearing threshold with a higher frequency resolution than traditional audiometry. With the piano, you can conduct a multi-frequency exam at each of the 11 standard audiometric frequencies. Notably, it is possible to test at five frequencies below and five frequencies above the central frequency, with a selectable frequency step of a third, a sixth, a twelfth, and a twenty-fourth of an octave. Using the function buttons, it is possible to change the selected central frequency, whereas in order to modify the frequency step, just touch the relevant yellow area on the screen.